The Shipyard Pajama Party, created by Dawn Glenn and Lucy Macy. Episode 1, Car Share, Series 1, Episode 1. Three, two, one, go! Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I've just realised, we, we didn't do an introduction, so we should say, this we is episode always... one of Car Share, Season 1. <laughs> It is, yeah, that's that's it in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah. But it's so it. well organised that this is now going to be our yeah. introduction. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So we're not exactly getting much... off a professional demeanour, are we? We're just, no. It's just it is the dawn and we're winging it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is the pyjama party. It's supposed to be laid back. It, it, you know, it's 20 past nine at night. I'm, I do have a bit enough all day work. <laughs> <laughs> John Redmond, oh, assistant it. manager. <laughs> I love that line. That's so bloody happy. <laughs> it does make me laugh that how clean and shiny and immaculate I can imagine John is that his back windscreen is always that dirty. <laughs> yes. I, I mean, know. I know it's. You know, I know why, why they do it. Yeah. I, know it's all, I know it's all for continuity, but it just makes me laugh that the rest of his car is shiny, gleaming. I mean, yeah. look at that. It's like the walls of the houses are reflecting the paint. <laughs> yeah, the back mirror is filthy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yay, Kayleigh Street. Yay. <laughs> is it? Oh, no, it's not a cul de sac, is it? It's a street. Yeah, you have reached your destination. Yeah. Foreboding. <laughs> For, yeah, very good. Yeah, I was going to say. A bit of uh, foreshadowing there. That's and what I, I meant, foreboding. That's not the right <laughs> way, is it? <laughs> you meant. Like, like, like I said earlier, it's 20 past nine. I've been at work all day. So I'm just, you're not going to know what's going to come out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and neither do I. <laughs> The awkward first meeting, even though they know each other, it is still very, oh, I'm in a car with somebody I don't know very well. They do do it well, considering she, the fact she, they've been friends 20 years. She just looks really happy to be in the car with him. <laughs> she does. Yes. And she knows about him. She knows that he, well, supposedly knows he's gay. Also, so like, she's how cheeky. Been... She's just like, do you know what? If somebody changed the station or changed my music in my car, I wouldn't be happy. <laughs> no, me neither. Uh, if you ask me, that's different. If they just did it, I'll be like, excuse me, my car, my rules. <laughs> <laughs> if they put it on Forever FM, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> it's interesting that he was listening to Five Live, you know, call in, use, whatever sport. Yeah. But we know he's happier listening to Forever FM. So why was he denying himself that? Was he just in Maybe denial? Maybe about... he was just giving the impression. Maybe he would, like, it's like, uh, grown-ups listen to as a set. Yeah. Thing that you he thought a grown-up would be. And it's maybe that's the impression that he should be giving. And so he was trying to adhere to that. We know that John is a man of, does what he thinks people expect of him. He's a so. people pleaser and I think you can he doesn't he's very conscious and what people think. <laughs> this gate. <laughs> oh see, I still don't understand why it's why she's taking it to work. <laughs> There'll be a medical reason, that's it. <laughs> right. Some kind of um Red Bull. Maybe she, no, because she, she doesn't have a doctor's appointment or anything, so I don't know. <laughs> it smells of sweet and sour. What is it? it it's, a, it's just a sample. A sample? A sample of what? Am I all right? <laughs> it's a bit nice! It's a bit nice! I'll get you a piss 
bigger mouth. I'm so sorry. What is happening? Why have you got a sample in that? That's why it's called a sample. You put it in a sample pot, love. You don't put it in a pot bottle with a sports salt. I have had urine samples in many a different kind of bottle. <laughs> yes, this is true. And do you think he was still carrying on taking them all the way to work if that actually happened? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think so. You can get out and get the bus and take your piss yeah. with you. <laughs> <laughs> understand the last line gent pissed stones is that like a killing thing <laughs> yeah this, this is not, not a sign do you think on the other side it says neither is this <laughs> a very good <laughs> is it is it peter k's own i run the world vest or, i think you know? it's genuine it's definitely genuine because it's by the fadedness and i think yeah. it's genuine <laughs> the type of material it is too that's not a modern top when was that that was what 85 was it 85 83 no 85 yeah maybe right 85 yeah sorry <laughs> as you say you must tolerate her to to let her carry on <laughs> in the car 19, 1986 all right, okay. So, yeah. That looks like the, the better road where she picked up a hedgehog. Uh, yeah, and also the one where he's singing John Farnham. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Bless him. He does... He's, he is a bit shy and... Yeah, he's really insecure. I think that's not the issue. Oh, yeah. Spania. Call me. Do, 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 do. Going on holiday this year? No. Did you go anywhere last year? No. Hey, the year before? No. Well, my dad, you don't get out much, do you? We've been busy working. All right. Went to a year before, you must know. <laughs> Nobody In went on holiday last year. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying so hard to resist her efforts to be friendly, but he can't. He gives in eventually. <laughs> yeah, he's just like. Oh, he's like, I oh, really just want to drive in and not worry about it, but it's like. I wonder what he thought. Like, if he ever thought they would become friends, you know what I mean. If you're if you're car sharing with somebody, you do become friend, much closer friends. I wonder what he thought yeah, was going to happen. Was... I don't mean I think in he a was, romantic he probably, sense. Probably did, he's a manager, and he was probably coerced into doing it by. Oh, you've yeah. got to do it to set an example for the, for the rest of the employees. Then old Kath Hilton set them up as a matchmaker. Wouldn't it be? Uh, it's 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 just a head Karen thing, but it'd be interesting to say, oh yeah, he actually arranged it. He asked for Kaylee because obviously he had a wee, yeah. wee crush on her. <laughs> Where's all what's, what? What made you think I were gay? Well, you're always on your own. Can I? Um, well, you live with your mum, don't you? No, I no I do not live with my mum. Thank you. Well, it's Diane off non food. She said you were gay. Did she? Did she indeed? Well, I'll be having bloody words with dying non foods, casting aspersions. Oh, don't say I said anything. It was that Christmas party last year and you got up to where I am what I am. And? And you were dancing a bit too enthusiastically. Mother of pearl. The world's gone mad when a man can't dance to glory again without being accused of being a homosexual. What? An homosexual? It's homosexual, John. Christ, I can't even speak now. Don't be telling Diane to be telling everyone I'm a big gay mute next. I love the fact, love even though they're fighting, <laughs> Kaylee's already <laughs> laughing. She just thinks he's so funny. And of course, oh, yeah, the, he you peek. the hero always has a little look at the changing person, normally yeah, the changing she, lady. She likes him, I'm good. I'm good yes. to look at your bottom. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I was going to say something, but no, I'll, I'll keep it PG. <laughs> 
Yeah, we don't get sued by YouTube already. No. <laughs> <laughs> Eek. See, they're, they're just an old married couple already. It's like yeah, 10 minutes exactly. into the episode. and She doesn't need him to actually say sorry. He's just acknowledged he... that, you know, it wasn't her fault and she's done everything she can. And he thanked her. But he's looking like when he asked about Bex, he is. <laughs> I'm so sorry, excuse me. <laughs> All right. That was what like, you you it was the bit where he just asked about, she just asked about her ex. He was like, oh, really? Do we have to have this conversation? <laughs> yeah. So he's still like trying to not. But the fact that he's talking about her ex or just the fact that he doesn't really want to talk. No, <laughs> like, he doesn't want to engage in anything. We'll just, I wish I it does say Brazilian while you, while you wait on this sign. <laughs> but, it just does make me love, if you think of all that, how that first interaction where he doesn't want to make an episode, how it's changed, we'll discuss it in a minute anyway, but how yeah. by the end of the episode it's completely gone 360 yeah. or 180, I, I can't, <laughs> I, I know what I mean. <laughs> I'm so tired, it's not even funny. <laughs> Dear. Yes, it has. Anywho, yes, like there he is asking questions about her brother and that, and he and he says, "Oh, is that your boyfriend?" So are you courting? Are you courting? <laughs> <laughs> he assumes she's got a boyfriend, and you know, it's just lovely though because he just seems really old-fashioned. And imagine like he'd be the catch that would be really romantic, like hold the drape in, and yeah, be really do, like really. insist on paying for everything, and it just seems really old school. Yes, totally. He's he's not, and the kind of guy that obviously comes up later in this episode, but the kind of guy that Kaylee's gone out with before are obviously arseholes, <laughs> frankly. Yes. <laughs> you know, yeah, and they're I mean, the kind of guys that would take the loan of her, that would not call her, that would, and John wouldn't be like that at all. He's the total opposite no. of every guy she's gone out with. Don't judge me, but I've just started this online dating thing. It's just so hard to meet someone when you get to my age. What age is that? John, don't ask a lady your age. 36. Yeah, it's a last resort, to be honest. Heartsearchers.com. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. Oh, have you? 50 quid joining fee. It's a bit steep, isn't it? I know. Well, I'm hoping that'll weed out a few jobs. I don't want no scrubs. And yeah, I would love to know if the whole thing, we know that it was the originally, the, the script was about two younger people, two people in their 20s. Yes. And yeah. there, when Peter took it on, it became more, you know, mid to late 30s. And that gives it a completely different dynamic of um, running out of time. And, and you know, yeah, really and also desperate to have kids. I mean, she just said that she's 36, he's 39. They're, yeah. They've experienced it, they've been hurt, they've got their guards up. Whereas yeah. when you're 20-something, it's all like, it's a, you're a little bit more carefree about all. But when you get yeah. to that age, you're obviously a, a lot more scared, I guess. It's higher stakes because you think, I, I don't want to waste my time and I, I, I'm not going to be hurt again. And, you know, it's all much more cautious and has much more important significance so they're not prepared to just mess about and see what happens you know and if you know something you have a feeling you have to go for it and that's obviously the <laughs> driving force that's what I think the difference is is that Kaylee's not going to resign herself to that she's like Look, I don't want to be on my own I'm going to do what it takes yeah. to find that person and I, yeah. I wish I was like that I completely respect that Whereas I've gone more on, it's like I'm just going to be on my own forever. That's how it's going to be. And if it happens, then well, actually, it's not going to happen because it doesn't want it to. But it's, you know, yeah, it's, I know what you mean. They are completely polar opposites. And like they're both single, but they're both approaching it in different ways. Completely, yes. Oh, it's, it's old Ted. Old Ted. <laughs> with, with 16, Every, 20, 14 trolleys. 14, <laughs> who knows how many trolleys change his number and he's shovel. Thursday. <laughs> I was yeah, I was going to say something about um Kaylee there, but I forgot what it was. 
see you in a wee while. Yeah. Oh, there, I was just going to say, it's their opposite reactions to being hurt. Hit, John's is to say, well, no more. And Kaylee's to say, well, that's the past. Let's see what happens now. Try again. You know, all yeah. the more reason to find something good. Which is a, it's, it's the entire personalities, really, isn't it? I think also, though, I think after the season two, episode four, he realises he's made a mistake and he realises how he feels and he's, he actually makes the effort to, OK, I, I need to do about this. He's gone, how okay, she's going all out. Yeah. He becomes that person later on in the series because, you know what, I'm, just, I'm not prepared to lose this. I might not be ready, yes. but I'm not going to let it go. Yeah, exactly. And as we um, pointed out, uh, I, I was rereading my blogs and I, I found when I first posted it, that the first line in the radio when they get in the car is, and a few years later they were married, <laughs> which I'm sure is deliberate. I don't think anything like that in a show by Peter Kay is ever accidental. No, exactly. he is meticulous for detail. Yeah. Well, except when he isn't. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh yeah, except when he isn't. But uh, I mean, it's like this. But yes, I mean, no, like, that kind of thing. I, mean, I think we're going to do it stuff on the radio. down the line, but the music is yeah. always nine, a lot, nine times out of ten, it's really significant to what's going on in the episode yeah. and it acts as like a reinforcement of what's happening. So I yeah. think there's always it's a like, lot of attention to detail. Not to get too uh, English lit, but the radio is basically like the Greek muses, giving us the insight into what's actually going on, you know? Yeah, and I, I, or it's a third. They all, Peter always said it's like a third character. It's basically Absolutely, the audience yeah. sort of going, "This is what they're really thinking." <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I like. It. I mean, I know they can be. It's a, it's a whole different dynamic when you got Stink Ray in the car, but it, with Elsie, she mm-hmm. is outrageous as she is. She's also the audience because yeah, she's totally. like, "Well, this is what we're thinking at the at the shop." It's like we know there's something going on. So what is going on? Come on, you can tell me. And it's like. They, yeah, and so to point it out to them, it's like because as an audience, we're completely it's completely obvious to us, and it's obvious to Elsie. And it's like, well, a minute, you two need to wake up and yes. realize what's going on. And I totally, well, they, the they both do, the they just don't admit it. It's like, well, Kaylee did, she'd given them this idea yeah. by that point, but it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you listen to this every day, yeah, thanks for music. Stop pretending you don't like the music, John. You know you love it. <laughs> That's yeah. how you know yeah, so many is, songs. Yeah. So yeah. So he was he was saying like with the CDs, like oh yeah, what's this shy? But he knew the words. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's he like knows. we all pretend we didn't listen to Steps and S Club, but we all did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute when he's laughing when she's when she's singing Bewitched. He is like what was he was saying about it. that. Oh yeah, this is the the about those, that's, those lyrics in that song. Yeah, the lyrics are about get wanting to know somebody better because it's about hey boy sitting in your tree, come down and speak. You know, uh, mummy wants you to come for tea, and well, don't you know talk get to, to know each, each other, other? Tell me, yeah, and that's what that's what this whole scene is about. Them getting to know each other. Uh, I can't Irish talk in Morris dance. Right, good on it, I'll show you later. It's my party piece. Flashing party piece. And I could do a good Silla Black impression. Surprise, surprise, oh John! I'm in your car. And we're gonna have a lot of, lot of laughs, me and you. And here's our dream with a quick reminder. Sure, not this biggie. I could do that too. Belton, huh? But your pass is swinging. <laughs> <laughs> your New Year's in swinging, aren't they? Red baby. Can't, no, I still can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to embarrass myself by trying. <laughs> no, I, I nearly did. I was like, no. <laughs> that genuine smiling and laughter is just so... It's what makes the show. What's, What's the one where... It... It's this episode where they're talking about the sheds. 
Because it was her, she doesn't want to show she was a shag. No, it's me up now. It's me up now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, that is quite... So this early on in the... It's still the same, it's still the same episode, and I think yeah. that's quite unreserved. Yeah, John's already become quite un... What's the word? Yeah, because I think in the beginning of this episode, you wouldn't have expected that to come from him. Yeah. But then he's already starting to relax. Yeah, totally. And that's his natural self coming out. And it's obviously yeah. been caused because Kaylee's so open, it's very hard to be a wall against that, you know? I think, I think also, though, I mean, he's, as he's saying now, he's like, he, he changed his shirt, he doesn't smell a piss anymore, he had a yeah. really good meeting, so he's had a good day at work, and yeah. then he's relaxing. Because he seems completely different as a character in the, the pre-shop yeah. drive into work. Yes. He seems a lot more relaxed. Yes, exactly. The big, big drive home. So, today's tea time teaser. How was your appraisal? Oh, it went well, actually. Talked about moving me forward for a promotion and putting me in charge of Christmas. Yeah. That's fantastic. Well done. 184. 184 what? Six till Christmas. I love it. Basically means I've got to organise a store. They give me a trial run at the busiest time of the year, and I've got to get a Chris team together. Amazing. Can I be a new team? Oh, I've not had a chance to think about it yet. You know, I've only just been told. Well, I'm perfect. You need someone good in promotions to get everyone going. That's me. And it'll make a nice change from handing out free snacker jacks all day long. I'm really excited for you. And, and Kaylee is genuinely happy for him that he's got a a chance of promotion and you know yeah even though the promotion's never mentioned again but obviously the christmas team is well i know yeah i think i think sean had an influence on the whole christmas thing because she is yeah, the queen of christmas so. she is absolutely yeah <laughs> i saw i i one of the things i'd written about i'd said why there would definitely be a finale and one of the reasons i said was there's They've never concluded what the story with the Christmas team, and I was like, "You don't, you don't yeah. care that. Leave it hanging." And they have. So I was completely wrong about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe if things hadn't happened with yeah, Peter's yeah. unplanned hiatus, then maybe that could have happened. Maybe yeah, it was something that maybe might have gone down the line. Fun, I mean, yeah. obviously, I don't even know because they've sold the car unless they decide to do it in a different Fiat Five Hundred. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It could be. They could do Kaylee and John five years down the line. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, we'll do house share. <laughs> yeah, right. Merry Christmas. It's Merry Christmas right. because right. we'll be driving home for Christmas. Yeah, leave it. So I can't wait to see those faces. Seriously, don't do that. Don't do that. Driving home. All right, all right. Get on driving the vehicle. All right. All right, all right Grinch. Why's your festive chair? I just, I don't know, I just can't stand people singing in my face. What, when you drive it? No, any time. Freaks me out. I had a bad experience once at a girlfriend's house on Christmas Eve. Oh, God, I'll never forget that. Why? What happened? I found me had a piano and they all got up and started singing. I got round it singing carols and harmonising. I could have died of embarrassment. Oh, I'd love that! I knew you'd say that. And this is John saying that he doesn't like people singing in your face is, is quite funny considering the rest of the series. <laughs> yeah. How much he changes about that. Or does he remain the same but Kaylee's the exception? Because Kaylee's always the exception to every rule. Mm. <laughs> and he says to Kaylee, I knew you were going to say that. So he already <laughs> knows her. Or thinks he knows yeah. it well. He's already because it's it, it, you're, uh, cause they don't really talk about their relationship in the shop leading to this point. No, he says he's been there since he left school. She's been there for five years because she said about knowing. Yeah. I've forgotten her name. Rick and Donna. Oh, oh yeah, name. um, yeah. What's the name? Wait, Diane. Donna. Um, Donna. So I mean, they've clearly known of each other or known each other for maybe the same or whatever so this yeah. seems like because like she said this is like getting into a car with a stranger so they clearly not had any real meaningful no. conversation this day yeah but obviously 
they're just aware of each other. So he probably had a good idea of Kaylee's personality. And maybe he was that's really annoying, he, like if I was Sorry. extra guarded, you know, maybe because he was like, Oh, I know what she's like, she talks all the time, she's really, you know, tells you too much. So he was being guarded about it. I don't know. Yeah, I remember he was thinking like, oh, if I only knew, knew like a year before, like six or however long before, because obviously yeah. he was with Charlotte as well. So. Yeah. But. And they're already talking exes. <laughs> Which uh, everybody knows you talk, only talk exes with somebody you might be interested in. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but what it does is creates the idea, tells the audience they're both single and creates you know yeah. their backstory for that but also puts the idea in the, everybody everybody's head the audience and the characters that there's a potential for them to be the other couple so what yeah what so I'm well, they're both is, single so it, it's mm-hmm. building the foundation and getting to know them yeah and they, yeah what i'm saying is you're right <laughs> it was fairly clear <laughs> from okay. this episode that it was meant to be a couple it was meant to be a ship. Oh, yes, because for those that don't know, Dawn watched this episode when it first came. I didn't think it was a will they, won't they? No. Nope. I, on the other hand, was thinking it's blatant. <laughs> I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be so badly, but I was like, it oh, was no. like, I was watching it quite happily, and, but it was the scene coming up again, I just thought, this is the reason it's a ship. <laughs> and... It, I need to go on the loo. I'm going to pause it. Uh, okay, wait, hold on. Let's remember. Pause. Uh, nine, 23. <laughs> 23. Oh, 22.58. Oh, perfect. <laughs> right, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Have you ever dabbled? I was a drugs meal once. Drugs meal? Seriously. I smuggled 500 E's to Glasgow on a virgin cross country without even knowing. I had no idea. My ex had sold them onto my gusset. No brush. Well, shit, eh? That's a dangerous game to play. <laughs> Don't worry. I got me revenge. I planted cress seeds under his bed. Why? You've got to think long term, John. I sewed prawns into them of his curtains while he was at work, or dealing, as we later found out. School caretaker, my eye. It was a drug dealing, you did sus. No idea. I just thought he was popular. Kaylee dating drug dealers. I'd never heard of that expression shit house before this. Had you not? Oh. No, I was like, so it was like, when he was in the episode where he falls over, I oh, mean, yeah. he says, when it, he's like, get on to so and so borough council shit houses. I thought, what do the council make? <laughs> shit houses? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, then I he says it in this again when I watched yeah. it again. I thought, oh, hold on a minute. So I had to Google it. And I'm like, okay, I didn't realize <laughs> that was a thing. <laughs> I'm so southern, it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> there are a few phrases that were new to me, I have to say. Like, on your arse, or off your arse, whichever one he is, he says. I didn't hear, I hadn't I heard that, that one. one. But yeah, shit houses was definitely a new one. Oh, Kaylee is... Alanis, <laughs> classic album. Very. That must have been you left when you went away. And are you thinking of her? Her. Yeah, I've done that karaoke. <laughs> it's very of that sort of our era of people being at university, you know? Oh, yeah, well, is it 96, 96, yeah, so it's classic. Yeah. University sound. Yeah, I, I'd gone back to college, so I was doing my second VSEG at that point. And Kaylee's it was like that, and Oasis, and yeah, Oasis. Kaylee's already comfortable enough to sing <laughs> properly. That's I the do... thing, isn't it? I find that it's like if I'm like I just like sing like this, and then like yeah. Now in front of my friends, I'm just like well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Proper singing, <laughs> belting. Did we uh, say she looks like here? Oh yeah, I said. Um, who did I say? <laughs> you said Jerry Halliwell. Jerry Halliwell. And you remember. said Dana Hadland. I said. <laughs> oh yes, you did. Yeah. yeah. How mad they hope sister? Yeah. She's cool. I like Sarah Hadland. Yeah, me too. 
car sharing, what do you what do you feel about it? How do you feel about it? Yeah, it's good, yeah. Do you want to try a new buddy? Alright. I suppose it makes sense to mix it up a bit, share with new people. Yeah, I guess. Are you gonna ask for a new buddy? Well I wanna keep my parking space. Anyway, if you're going to be sharing with someone else. Me? No, I'm not sharing with you. All right. Yeah. Hey, I am. I mean, me too. Good. Oh, car share streams a success. This is the... Oh, I mean... the way he says it, it's been one day and it's been a success. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> but you see how immediately John's like, oh... Do you want? He, she's brought it up that people can change. Does, does she want but, to but change? Because he, he, he wants to know what she thinks about it, but he's yeah. He can tell he's nervous about asking. Yes, and he obviously desperately wants her to say no. I want to share with you, you know, but he can't ask because <laughs> that's too awkward. Oh. Well, they just both seem really disappointed when they think yeah. the other one doesn't want to share. Exactly. And then, oh, okay, you're happy sharing, are you? Oh, yes. This is the reason. This one scene. The smiles. I mean, look at their faces. They're so cute. They're so happy to know that they're, oh, yeah, I want to. He wants to. <laughs> See, how can you not watch that one scene and saying, this isn't a will they, won't they? <laughs> It's just about two friends that share I was, a car. I, like, was, yeah, right, I, was be, I was being John. I was hurt in the past so much. I was guarded and thought. Yes, we were so disappointed by ships in the past. Yep. It's TV writers be... have let us down frequently. Oh, yes. Too many times. So I don't want to care. And yet, no. <laughs> See, I, I, will, I was real straight in. And look what he did. He played with us for a year. Yeah, exactly. The end of season two in the finale. It was like, yeah. okay, you great big tease. <laughs> Kaylee's are already thinking of a, of a we. We're a we now. <laughs> you and me are a we. See, look at this now. Like, it's the end of the day. Look how much more it, we actually was now to play to the very beginning of the day. Yes. Look how much banter they. It's like it's been a. And their body language is much more relaxed than, it's you like, know. She, like, when Jake and he says, you big game, I mean, if, and also, if you, she, you forget, he's her boss. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and she's getting out of the car, like, see you in the morning, you big game, you. And he's like... And they've already got an, an I mean, look, in, inside on. joke. Look at how happy he looks. It's like... He's so happy. Bless him. It's like, I just mentioned it the other day. If, I mean, I, I was a huge piece of K fan before this. Yeah. So like I'd seen this the tours, like the tour videos, and I've seen like Phoenix Knights and the Peter K thing. And the feed said Peter K's gonna be in a in a comedy and it's gonna he's gonna be a romantic lead. You'll be like, yeah. okay, not sure, but I'll give it a go. And <laughs> you watch it and you just think, oh, he's just so lovely. <laughs> it's just perfect. You yeah, he just he's, it's very real, I think is one of the things about it. You know, it's a that real is the thing. Feeling. I think these are the two two of the characters you can relate to the most on TV in a really long time. Yeah, totally.